Good day. This is a video on how to solve inequalities using interval notation. So when you're solving for inequalities, of course, we pretend uh, you solve them the same way you would solve if it was equals to zero. So um, the brackets will be x minus 3, x minus 2. And then now here, remember, critical values is not just, it's not exactly the same as when it's equals to zero. So when it's equals to zero, we don't put critical values. We just say x is equals to 3 or x is equals to 2. But when we're dealing with inequalities, we have to say critical values because these values will give us when it's equals to zero, but they want when it's greater than zero. That's what we have to tell them, critical values. And then from there, you draw your number line. So uh, the smaller value comes there and the larger value goes there. And then you test any number, right? Any number uh, in this group. So for instance, there's a one, there's a zero that is less than two in this group. So if you put them in place of X in the calculator, find out whether it's gonna be a positive or a negative. If you check it, you will see the calculator will give you a positive answer. So it means everything in group one is positive. Then you can also test group two, right? So if you test group two, anything between two and three, maybe 2.5. If you test 2.5 in the calculator, um, it's going to give you a negative answer. So it means everything in this group is negative. Then let's test anything in the third group. You can test either 4, 5, anything, right, in this group. So if you place them, in, if you put them in place of X and you test them, um, the calculator is going to give you a positive value. So it means everything in group 3 is positive. So the question says, uh, this thing must be greater than zero, meaning it must be positive. So which group has positive? It's group one and group three. So let's describe group one using interval notation. So where does group one start and end? If you look at group one, there is no beginning. So it starts from negative infinity. Why negative? Because uh, as we keep going lower, we'll meet one, uh, then zero, then negative one, negative two, negative three, upwards until infinity, right? So negative infinity. Infinity always has uh, have a curve bracket. So we're going to say it starts from infinity until 2. Now, since the question says greater or equals to, wherever these numbers, we'll just put a square bracket. But if it said greater than only, if, if the question said greater like this, then it means uh, where these numbers, you'd also put a curve bracket. And then we say, oh, now we describe this one. So we're done describing this group. This particular group, so I'm not saying you must shade it. Uh, it, starts, it doesn't have a beginning point. It starts from negative infinity and ends at 2. So let's describe the third group. So the third group, where does it start? It starts from 3, if you check. Always from left to right. There, from left to right, from negative infinity until 2. right? Then here, it starts from 3 until it doesn't have an end if you look at it. So it starts from 3 and it ends at infinity, positive infinity. Infinity, like I said, always has a curved bracket. And then now, since the question said greater or equals 2, it means we have to put a square bracket there. And that's the answer, right? So this is another form of writing it. You get the exact same marks. So this is interval notation. Inequality notation is when we write it like this. We say x is less than or equals to 2 or x is greater or equals to 3. So uh, let's let's uh, do another example. Let's just say in the question they said it must be less than zero. So if they say it must be less than zero, it means they want where it's negative. Left, less than zero means negative, right? How do you know which one is less, which one is greater? Whenever we have A and we have something like this, right? Wherever the pointy side is facing, it's small, right? Wherever the wider side is facing, this side is bigger. So just in case uh, there's some confusion. Okay, so this part is less than zero because the pointy side is facing it, right? So it's less than zero. So less than zero means negative. So we want it to be negative. So x must be, so this part must be negative. So in this group, which group has negative? The group that is negative is group two. So how do we describe group two? We describe group two by saying, where does it start? Where does it end? So we'll say x is an element of I hope I said x is an element of in the previous uh, in the previous answer. We always have to say x is an element of. I'll go back to it. So it starts from two until three, right? That's group two. It starts from two until three. So 
um, why am I putting curve bracket? Because it said less than only. If it said less or equals to, then I would have put square brackets. And as for um, the one before, the one before was greater or equals to zero. So let me just uh, re uh, read to that part. So x is an element of, so this group, remember, it starts from minus infinity until two, right? Infinity less as a kept bracket. And then since it was greater or equals to, we put a square bracket, then we say, oh, square bracket, because it starts from 3 until infinity, right? So, wherever these numbers, we'll put a square bracket if it says greater or equals to. But if it's greater than only, we put uh, a curved bracket where these numbers. Infinity, no matter what, will always have a curved bracket. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to see me solving uh, some more hard things, but this is not hard at all.